If you're looking for a long distance passage maker, shaft driven power catamaran, you have to have a look at the Iliad 50. It ticks so many boxes. Come and I'll show you around. Entering the uh, cockpit, we've made the design of this boat uh, very practical in a sense of one level. Everywhere you walk on this boat, you've got handrails, very important for spending time underway, as those boaties know. Uh, a lot of boats are designed these days without thought of being underway. They're great at boat shows to walk around, but this boat's design not only offers uh, great use of space, but our focus has been on the safety and the uh, way the boat's laid out to ensure very safe movement around the boat, whether you're at anchor or whether you're at sea. Iliad's uh, DNA is not only about uh, long range uh, passage making ability, a boat like this has a range of 2,500 miles uh, in that uh, low cruise speed of uh, six to seven knots, but it has a capacity to fast cruise up to 20 knots uh, with a reasonable range still of uh, 600 nautical miles, which I think is very credible for the amount of boat that uh, you're going to see uh, this morning. Uh, Iliad, uh, uh, the options for the brand, you can customise your boat. This boat here is laid out from feedback from the market where our customer base are saying they really want a, uh, an apartment on the water, they want a lounge area to relax, they want vision when you're sitting down on board the boat. I think a lot of boats these days, when you're sitting and relaxing, you're not able to see the 360 degree view of the sea. Uh, it's a really important part of this design. Uh, the helm station downstairs is great for uh, long passages where you can all share the time on this main deck level, but uh, some of our customers prefer to not have the helm station below if they're more coastal cruising and they'll have the helm station upstairs in the flybridge only, providing more area for uh, lifestyle down on the main deck. Uh, your, your choices in this boat, uh, not only with timber colours, layout, furnishings, uh, you can have fixed furnishings or floating furnishings as we have in this boat. You can have uh, a galley set up with gas with uh, 240 volt induction as we have in uh, this uh, 50 Iliad here. Your fridge set up can be traditional uh, double door opening uh, fridges that you have in your own homes or you can have marine style fridges that offer uh, lower power draw uh, from their designs. The, uh, the, the flow of this boat out to the cockpit lends itself to great entertaining. Uh, it's really uh, easy to serve food from the galley to the aft deck uh, and it's also very uh, practical to wander up to the flybridge which will take you up there now. Again instead of a ladder to the flybridge which a lot of boats put uh, in their designs these days we've made a very uh, safe walkway with grab rails everywhere to ensure movement around the boat while underway is as safe as possible. The flybridge design in this boat has been set up for a lifestyle. You've got a whole independent galley upstairs. Uh, you've got an ice maker. You've got uh, a good sized basin with hot and cold water. Uh, ample storage for cups, plates, uh, for a full galley setup. Instead of having to bring everything from upstairs, we can bring everything. Uh, everything is on display here on the flybridge. Uh, a very large barbecue uh, which will feed a family of eight no problems at all. Uh, this barbecue location can be placed anywhere in the flybridge. Uh, we like the compact style of this layout, uh, hence the, uh, the layout of this boat was our choice for uh, our first stock boat for the Australian market. The, dining area here or the coffee table area it's a great place to relax uh, this table as you can see folds out so if you wish to uh, have a, a, a dining area as you can see you have a, a table that folds out and of course with a touch of a button 
the table can rise to form a great dining area for up to eight people. Uh, and you can reduce the size depending on how you're using the flybridge at the time of your cruising. So uh, the helm station placement again on the Iliad range you can choose your location of your helm station you can have it to the port or starboard side or you can have it fairly centralized as we have on this boat what's nice about this boat is it's very social uh, you've got seating for two or three people if you wish plus a nice day bed here which uh, is a great social interaction with your partner with your family with your friends uh, you can relax here as you can see on this day bed. It's a really good place just to cruise around chatting to your uh, skipper, to your partner who's driving the boat. It's a really lovely place. It's a very special part of the boat I find. It's one of my favourite places to sit on this boat. Um, the electronics on the boat, you can choose any electronics package you wish. We've gone with Ray Marine on this particular boat, but you can choose Garmin, Brooks and Gatehouse, uh, Simrad, whatever your preference is. You can choose your engine options. We, we've got Volvo 435 horsepowers on this uh, Iliad 50. Uh, the first boat we built, we put uh, Yanmar 440s, but you can do Cummins, you can do uh, uh, any engine brand that you wish. To, to fit your preference uh, from your past boating experience. One of the big feedbacks that created this boat was storage. Uh, catamarans are, are known for their limited storage. Uh, we've made every area in this boat uh, available with big storage lockers. Uh, we've got storage through uh, this whole flybridge holds around about uh, 1400 litres of storage just in this lounge area plus a further 600 litres of storage through the front area of the flybridge as well as the, the galley of course uh, you've got ample cupboards and, st and storage space and then out through the back here you can either uh, have a, a crane here to lift your tender up on board the boat to bring your crane on we've uh, designed a removable rail system so your rails can be moved while you bring your tender on and off the boat and then back for safety they just go back into place as you see. Uh, alternatively as you can see from the track up here we do a big awning out over the back if you want to use this for a day lounge, for day beds, for extra dining. This makes a great place for a dining table that's removable with a few chairs around. It's a lovely part of the boat if you want a bit of sunshine. Uh, otherwise uh, you can just use it for water toys, kayaks, uh, as I said tender storage uh, and the like. So uh, one of the great features of the boat I'd like to show you now is down in the accommodation area where we've uh, got a three cabin version in this Iliad 50 and I'll uh, take you down and show you how we've designed uh, the, uh, the hull. So coming back in through the uh, saloon, uh, the, the galley, uh, the kitchen if you wish to call it, uh, to our port side we have the owner's cabin, uh, to the starboard side we have the guest cabins. Uh, I'll leave the amazing owner's cabin uh, till later and we'll come and show you the, uh, the, the guest accommodation. So uh, starboard or right hand aft or at the rear of the accommodation area we have the, uh, the a guest cabin here which is designed for uh, a, a very comfortable bed. It's actually uh, a long ways in the hull to maximise the length of the, uh, the bed. Uh, we discuss with uh, Iliad the design of this bed being long ways but it minimised the area in this uh, cabin and this works really well. It's a very comfortable cabin. Mm -hmm. It's got uh, great hanging uh, spaces for uh, clothing. It's got uh, exceptional storage through the boat under the bed, shelving above the bed. Uh, it's got a wonderful ensuite bathroom for a boat this size with a full size shower toilet, uh, electric uh, uh, freshwater flush. Uh, this also doubles up for a day bathroom. So we can use this bathroom if you're out just for a day on the water with friends and family. Uh, this door can be locked off, the cabin can be kept uh, as a private cabin and the bathroom is used for, uh, for a day uh, bathroom for use for the guests. 
The uh, laundry area is central in the hall here. We have, uh, you know, exceptional storage again uh, for all the bits and pieces. You can put linen, uh, towels, uh, you know, your usual uh, bits and pieces you need for washing and uh, uh, maintaining uh, hygiene on a boat. Uh, with a really nice uh, Siemens 5 kilo washer. You can have a washer-dryer, you can have a washer, or you can have a washer-dryer combination. But uh, we really uh, find uh, uh, the 5 kilo washing machine is a great feature of the boat. So coming uh, forward in the boat, uh, again we're on the right hand side, the, uh, the starboard side of the boat. We have another guest cabin. Uh, this is a great cabin for uh, uh, extra children or kids if you want. Uh, it's not quite a, a, queen, a, a queen size bed, it's kind of a, a, a double bed at the base. It narrows at the bow because of the shape of the boat, but again, uh, incredibly good storage through the boat. Uh, this is great just for keeping, uh, uh, you know, boat uh, linen and things on board for your guests because you've got storage here as well, which is in the, uh, by the way of hanging space, shoe drawers, shelves. Underneath the bed, of course, we have a, another uh, big storage locker, which is fantastic for, uh, you know, for short and long-term storage. Uh, fully air conditioned, every cabin's got its own climate control air conditioning system. This is all standard in uh, the Iliad range. Uh, we've got an ensuite uh, again for the forward cabin, as well as plenty of power points, plenty of uh, lighting options from mood lighting, uh, lighting below the bed, also reading lights uh, as required. And of course, for privacy, we've got. Uh, nice uh, a, a blind system so if you want to you know keep that morning sun out of the boat we've also got blinds over the hatches and fly screens over all the opening port. So uh, coming from the starboard side to the port side of the boat to the left hand side we uh, have a wonderful owner's uh, cabin here. Uh, the owner's cabin uh, has been again designed by uh, the, um, uh, the market basically, feedback from the market uh, is how we've designed this cabin. Everyone can choose their own layout but we really think this works for uh, the broader market. You've got a great uh, uh, queen size double bed, uh, very good storage and shelving throughout the boat, great storage below the boat and as you can see throughout the hallway moving forward to the forward uh, uh, part of this cabin where the bathroom is you've got great uh, drawers, uh, all soft clothes, uh, you've got shelving, you've got a lounge with storage below, uh, an exceptionally nice vanity for, uh, you know, just for uh, feedback from the, the women in the market uh, saying they want this uh, in, in their design, all soft clothes, very big uh, storage drawers, nice and deep, uh, all two pack finished. Um, very little veneer in this boat, it's all uh, quality cherry wood timber, uh, well designed with uh, great hanging space for an owner's cabin, shoe drawers, uh, uh, more storage space than you'd find in most 67 mm -hmm. foot monohulls. The bathroom layout's been uh, created to to make it light and airy. Again, privacy screens for uh, all the windows if you wish uh, for privacy. You've got uh, incredibly good storage through the boat. Shelving, uh, great uh, storage through the for, for towels and, and the like. Fresh water flush electric toilets, uh, vanity. Uh, you can have one sink, two sinks. It's up to the buyer how they want to design this area. And then the shower moving forward uh, is big enough for two people. It's, uh, it's got great room, like I'm not the tallest guy in the world, about uh, 5 foot 11, but we had a guy 6 foot uh, uh, 6, I think, in here yesterday, surprised that he could uh, actually have a shower in here. So you've got uh, the great ventilation. Uh, we've got extractor fans in here, as well as uh, natural ventilation through the way of a hatch. Nice deep storage for uh, you know, your bathroom, uh, uh, you know, bits and pieces. Uh, a lot of boats don't quite have that, uh, you know, you're not going to lose stuff while you're underway. 
So dining options on this uh, Iliad 50, we have a really nice dining area, very comfortable for six people. It's been designed, uh, again, you've got two options, you've got these uh, chairs below here which they're surprisingly comfortable. We uh, were a bit uh, concerned about the idea of this but it actually works terrifically. Uh, the height's good, uh, you can four to six people very comfortable for dining. If you want a bigger crowd than six people, then we have another option on the aft deck, which I'll come to uh, later this morning. But uh, a couple of things about this table. Not only is it a, a beautiful feature of the boat, we found when living aboard, uh, quite often when you're preparing food, the, the table is in the way of the fridge. So we have a fold over section which allows you to flow very easily between the galley uh, to, your, to your fridge while you're preparing food. Uh, it's another great little place just if you're relaxing and reading. Uh, it allows you to walk around. It's another uh, great feature of this boat and something that we're really pleased to see uh, in the design. Just folding it back of course, creates your, your whole dining experience again. And for our interior uh, crew, I better make it back to normal. Coming out the back, if you do want to dine with uh, six or eight people, this is where the feature of the boat is for outdoor dining. Uh, as you can see, even with chairs here, you can quite comfortably dine with uh, eight people with another chair at the end. It's a really great social area. It's a wonderful part of the boat because it's well protected from the weather and the elements, but at the same time, it's got a great breezeway and uh, it's a lovely part of the boat. Of course, like upstairs in the flybridge, this table folds up. As you can see, I won't dismantle it all now, but you can have a coffee table or a full dining table on the back uh, cockpit here. The quality of the woodwork in this boat is exceptional. You've really got to see the boat to appreciate it. Uh, we've had a lot of great comments from the market uh, uh, about how well the boat's finished, how well the boat's been thought through and laid out. Even everything through, even this serving area here, it, it, everything's soft edges. We don't have sharp edges in the boat. And uh, there's been a lot, of, uh, a lot of minds together have put this design together. Uh, Riccardo Bolgarelli, our architect uh, for Iliad, has done a great job in his uh, hull shape, getting that fuel efficiency, getting that uh, long range and packing so much into a 50 foot power catamaran. We've uh, uh, never seen so much boat in 50 feet in the market and we're very proud to have been appointed the dealership in Asia Pacific uh, to handle Iliad catamarans. Uh, and there's just one other part of the boat I think we should show you, which is the bow section, some storage, forward uh, day bed and uh, anchor locker areas. So going forward to the bow, just the uh, aft cleats are, are very substantial, great for getting plenty of rope on when you need to. There's great little storage areas below the cleats for those spare ropes. We have excellent fender storage forward, which I'll show you. Uh, but one of the great features again is the safety of walking around this boat. Two gentle steps up to a very flat walkway with a very uh, solid handrail going forward. If ever you are berth side on to a marina and you need access, we have a great access point here to, to access a marina. Uh, very seldomly used these days, most marinas are getting designed better for a boat to be reversed in, but it's there if required. So forward on the bow section here, uh, I'll start just with these great big forward lockers. These lockers are very deep. Uh, she's very highly freeboarded this boat. It uh, uh, lends itself for great storage for fenders, for uh, water toys, you know, electric bikes, whatever you want to put in the boat. Uh, keep in mind with a cat, you don't go and put very uh, heavy weights in the front of, uh, of any boat particularly, but it's just great for all those big bulky items that you need stored. 
Uh, going forward here, we've got a nice day lounge. Um, the idea of this, of course, these are adjustable backs, so you can lift the angle as you choose. And it's a great place to just relax uh, on the bow. We've got drink holders on the side. Uh, we've got another storage locker here to our left, which uh, basically is access to all your grey water and uh, black water tanks but they're all sealed, so it forms a great place for just general storage. Uh, again, one of the DNAs of uh, this Iliad range is use of every space in the boat. Uh, then of course we have the anchor locker, which uh, houses a, a 1500 watt uh, electric anchor, 100 metres of chain. Uh, again, personal for boat owners. You can choose your choice of anchor brand, your, your choice of chain, stainless steel, short link, long link, your choice of anchor. Uh, you know, the, the freedom of choice with Iliad is all up to each individual buyer. The um, anchor controls here as well, you, you have a remote, you have a foot control and the anchor comes out from the centre of the boat. Again, keeping the weight in the boat as well back as we can. That's why the anchor locker is quite well back from the bow for, for, for a catamaran. The searchlight on the roof, uh, again, great for coming into anchorages at night or to pick up a mooring. Uh, you'll notice this large window here as well. Uh, come, if you are light-handed, you can pop open that window and walk through from the helm station straight to the anchor or straight to a boat hook to pick up a mooring. It's a very easy boat to, uh, to manage as a light-handed crew, as a couple. And, uh, you know, as a sea boat, uh, if you, uh, you'll see some footage of this boat uh, recently. We bought this boat up for the boat show on Thursday in a 25 knot uh, kind of south, uh, southerly breeze, south, uh, southeast. And uh, we had a good kind of uh, two and a half to three and a half metre swell. And uh, we sat on 18 knots for many hours in those conditions. And what surprises me is how dry this area is. Uh, you can be on the bow of this boat. There's no spray over the bow. Uh, we didn't get any spray over the forward windows. Uh, we had a, a surprisingly comfortable trip on what I thought was going to be a, a fairly long trip that day. But at 18 knots, we were as comfortable in those conditions as uh, as we were doing seven or eight knots. So uh, when you do have to go quickly, uh, you want to get somewhere uh, to get out of poor weather, this boat is really capable in a big sea at, uh, at, at very respectable speeds. So uh, look, I hope you've enjoyed the Iliad 50 uh, today. Uh, you'll see this boat on display at numerous boat shows around Asia Pacific in the, the coming year. And uh, Multi Hull Solutions is very proud to be part of the Iliad uh, story from uh, working with uh, Global Marine who uh, have put all this project together, uh, working with them to become their agent in uh, Asia Pacific and we're thrilled to be part of what Iliad will be in the future. Thank you.